Hello ladies, it's Jay Sharice back with another tutorial. This one is a request from one of my subscribers. I love it when you guys send me requests. Keep them coming. Um, here's her name right here. Hey girl, hope everything's well. Hope this uh, meets the requirements. <laughs> um, hope this meets your expectations. Um, let me know if you try it. And um, yeah, to get this look, keep watching. First we're going in with NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in Yogurt and we're going to put that over the lid. And blend it up with the, your finger. Now using this L'Oreal Hip Duo Eyeshadow in Flare, I'm going to take this lighter color and put it on the lid. Now going in with the Sigma 224, I'm mixing Cork Eyeshadow by MAC and this eyeshadow right here, which is a little darker than the Cork. Um, you just dip back and forth into the tube and just go into the crease with it. Just use a windshield wiper motion. You don't need to go high in the crease, just stay right in the crease. just to add a little definition to the eye because naturally we have a shadow there. Now going back in with that Sigma 239 and that lighter eyeshadow out of the duo um, we're going to go over that again. And just brush back over the crease again with the 224 just so everything is blended. Now taking Dazzle Light Eyeshadow by MAC, I'm just going to stick my finger, just one stick, dot your finger in it, and just do like that on your inner tear duct. Just pat it right there to draw some light to the inside of the eye. But this makes it look more natural when you use your finger and not the brush. Now using this Eco Tools brush, I'm going to take this color, which is a light pinkish beige color, and I'm going to put that in the highlight. Now going back in with Flare Eyeshadow, with the Flare Duo, and a Sigma 252, we're just going to put that on top of the color we just placed in our highlight. And just brush downwards. Now taking wedge eyeshadow and a MAC 224. We're just going to blend between those two colors. Now taking a MAC um, angled 266 brush, um, I'm going to take brown down eyeshadow and we're going to line the upper lash line with this look is supposed to be natural so you're just going to go like use a skin tone to line it to define the lash area. So just go and go against the lash line with it. All the way across. Now taking that same brush and brown down eyeshadow still, we're going to go over the outer lower lash line. And stop just before, just at the inside of the iris. Stop. Now we apply mascara. You tilt your head back and scribble at the lash line and pull up. And you can blink down onto the wand.
go behind the lashes but while you go behind be careful so that you don't get any on the lid just like that and this is um, CoverGirl Volume Exact Mascara in Black if you're interested and you're on the bottom very slightly do not touch the skin with the mascara because that will look like you have on loads of makeup so just the hairs give them a little tint now I'm going to line my lips with this stripped down lip pencil by MAC and fill them in. Before you put any of your makeup on you should put on lip gloss so that it has time to sink in to your lips so that by the time you're ready for your lips they'll be well moisturized. So you fill them in just like that. I'm going to contour my lips with this Raisin um, Lip Liner by Maybelline. Just go on the outer edges Not a deep contour because this is a natural look. Am I in the camera? Lord. Alright. I'm going to use 3N lipstick by MAC. I don't know if they sell this anymore. I got it from my CCO. And just put it on the lips. Now going in with Varnish Lacquer by MAC. We're just going to put that in the center of the bottom lip. And just blend it in with the rest. Okay, ladies, that concludes this look, totally nude, and I hope this helped you out. And um, leave your comments below to let me know how it goes, if you try it, or whatever. Um, so, for now, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.